Hey everyone, so let's quickly continue with the test case generation and understand what else generative AI can help you with in the manual testing process or test designing process. So we've already seen that you can straight away provide your user story along with the acceptance criteria or set of user stories into the prompt and ask to generate the test cases in a specific format. For example, we have seen the Jira X-ray format. You can specify the format as well in the prompt. So for example, my X-ray columns look like you can specify the columns accordingly and what exactly they mean or what, what values they accept, accept those columns. You can specify and then accordingly your response will be formatted or test case will be formatted. Now say for example, I want to go ahead and get a little bit more detail around some suggestions. What can I go ahead and do or do the automation testing for? So for example, the UI automation, what scenarios can be covered in the API ca test cases or unit test cases. For example, if I go ahead and just copy the functional requirements from the requirements document and go to the chat GPT and I'll say suggest the I'm asking just for the high level test cases, high level test cases for below features of e-commerce application. So I'm just looking for the high level test cases for below features of e-commerce application and then just put those features and I also say one liner. Okay, I'll be specific here. So high level one liner test cases. I don't want any details as such. I want the one liner test cases against these features and understand what is suggest for these features. So let me get the test cases first and you will see that automatically in terms of high level scenarios, it has provided me the test cases. For example, user registration profile management, verify that new user can register with email, phone and complete OTP email verification. Then registered user can log in with valid credentials or social accounts. Absolutely relevant. Verify that a user can update profile details, save address and payment methods. So that's also valid. And then user can reset their password via email link OTP. Now there will be more test cases. I mean, in, in terms of user registration profile management, there I can definitely see there is a gap here and there will be more test cases that you can add. For example, here you have the user can reset their password via email link OTP. So reset password is covered. All right. But if they have forgot the username, say for example, forgot username, forgot password, there are different permutations, combinations that you can test in terms of reset password. So this is where you need to understand that there will be gaps in the response and you have to closely monitor and analyze what response you have got and quickly get what you have got and fill the gaps. So your work will be expedited, but from the testing point of view, from your tester expertise, you will be putting in efforts in there to make sure that the test suite is complete. All right, then you have a lot of error scenarios that will be possible in the user registration. So you can also ask for the error scenario. So you can from the prompt itself, you are you can re ask that. OK, in the user registration scenarios, can you provide me the error scenarios as well? So it will go ahead and keep adding in case you don't get relevant answer. Then you have to at last go ahead and add those gaps or fill those gaps with the new test cases that you can think of. Now from these test cases, for example, I'll ask to create some of the end to end scenarios. OK, so I'll say create end to end scenarios, test scenarios, considering the above features and test cases. Okay, so you'll see that now I'm just in continuation and this is what context is. It remembers, I mean, generative AI will remember the context, what you have asked before and it is remembering this his history, what it has provided as an answer. So on top of that, I'm asking create end-to-end -end test scenarios considering the above features and test cases. So let's see what end-to-end -end test scenarios it provides you. So you'll see end-to-end -end scenario, new, new user registration to successful purchase, right? So a user registers and then successfully purchases. So you'll see the scenario has been created, which is absolutely fantastic. Then guest checkout with phone registration. Then you have the wish list to purchase generate. So log in as an existing user, search for the product 
product and add it to the wish list from wish list move to pro move product to cart and then save item for for later from the cart then re-add the item and proceed to the purchase journey then personalize deal redemption so quickly it has also suggested you the end-to-end -end scenarios now out of these now when we talk about the test automation writing the script automating the end-to-end -end scenario the idea is not to automate everything from the ui point of view so when we say automation mostly in the projects what happens is people try to automate everything at the ui layer from selenium or playwright but that should not be the intent if you if you have gone through my lot of previous videos istqb agile there is a concept of test pyramid that i have explained now test pyramid if i go ahead and quickly ask or just in chat gpt let me ask create image of test pyramid i just want to explain you how you should categorize your test so you get better answers so you'll see here it has created me the test pyramid and if you'll see at the bottom layer you will have the integration uh, sorry the unit test cases and that's the biggest sort of layer that is there in the test pyramid then you have the integration and then end-to-end -end test cases so the end-to-end -end test cases that we have targeted here are usually you know if we talk about the automation layer it's the ui layer and then at the middle layer you should be focusing more on the api test cases at the unit layer it's more of a suggesting or having the maximum amount of test cases at the unit layer or unit test cases that are done by the developers so from this point of from this feature point of view i can then ask chat gpt to create the test cases at the api layer i can say okay for the above test cases suggest which can be done which can be tested at integration layer and which can be taken for ui automation okay so i am just asking from the above test cases suggest which can be tested at integration layer and which can be taken for ui automation so this will give me a categorization of the test cases that possibly can be taken at the api layer or the service layer for example you will see the verify registration with valid email test via registration api because now all the application most of the application that you see nowadays are the in the background it's the api below behind the ui layer there is an api that takes your request and then goes back to the server and performs the action and sends the response so for example registration registration login there will be login api there will be registration api so testing the registration or the functionality is that you necessarily don't need the ui to be complete is very important and that's where the chat gpt or the generative ai will help you to get those categorization quickly it has provided me these test validate backend services apis and data flows without ui overhead and you can straight away verify error message for missing mandatory field so validate api response codes and error messages then you have the input validation can be covered then you have the password policy validation so all of these general this is just in general now imagine when you have the specific document from your project specific api endpoint how much help you will be able to get with generative ai in terms of expediting your work i'm not saying that testing or testers will get replaced with this but yes you will be much more enabled to handle a lot more complex tasks with with much ease now with this my suggestion here is that still you need to learn technology still you need to learn the automation practices programming api testing because otherwise you won't be able to understand what you are asking to the gen ai so understanding is very important because i had the knowledge of this test pyramid that's why i know i can categorize these test cases out of integration and the end to end test cases if you don't know these concepts basics and concepts become the foundation of using generative ai because otherwise you won't be able to use it properly then if it continue on the ui layer you will see that end to end selenium playwright cypress you can use any tool and then use the ui automation tool to test these test cases and you will see that now the ui layer is just five test cases if there are gaps you go ahead and check there would your your functionality and see that there are gaps make sure you add more test cases but on a high level in general 
scenarios, you will get a good recommendation of the test cases, high level scenarios wherein we used to put a lot of effort thinking about scenarios, about going through the acceptance criteria, reading everything. Now you can go ahead and straight away feed in your document, then read your test cases and recommendations and refine them accordingly, then get it approved, then making sure you get the API testing coverage and UI testing coverage properly. So that's where things will be really helpful. So this is how you are going to use the Gen AI, any tool, ChatGPT, Microsoft Copilot to help you expedite your testing, test case generation, categorization and other areas in your software testing. So that's all for this video. In the next video, I'll cover a few more important concepts around Gen AI. Thank you. See you in the next one.